What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited because I'm actually going to be able to study. <laughs> I'm going to have a study session. I need to study so bad. And so I wanna take you guys through that process, show you guys how I write my study plans for a study session. I'm also gonna be cracking open my 100 days of code journal that I showed you guys in my last video. Um, today is Sunday, but it's never, you know, you don't have to wait till Monday to start something new. So I will be starting my 100 days of code journey today. Um, so if you're interested in following that, I am, going to attempt to post and keep track of that on my Instagram page so be sure to follow me there um, also I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing on free code camp and then I think I'm at the point where I'm going to be entering my first project for them which is creating a website and so I'll show you guys how I plan on designing that website and then at the very end of the video I hope to have enough coded to show you guys how the website is coming along and actually show you guys the code and you can see actually how it's looking so so with all that said and all that out of the way, I do want to give a special shout out to Anna Luisa for um, collaborating on this video. I am super excited to be working with Anna Luisa because if you guys haven't noticed, I wear these same necklaces pretty much every video. Any video where you can actually see my neckline, you see these necklaces. And these are the ones that I wear every single day. I wear these all day, every day. When I first got these um, back in July 2021, they were gifted to me from my parents for my birthday. Um, I was kind of nervous because I've never had jewelry that was really high quality and wouldn't tarnish on me so I would take them off in the shower anytime I wash my hair I would take them off but after a while I started to realize that I don't think these are going to tarnish anytime soon so I just started hopping in the shower with them then I went to washing my hair and as you can see well I have mini Swiss right now but I am a curly girl um, I use a lot of products in and out of the shower for my hair and between that and the shower i have not had any issues with these products i do not get any tarnishing um so yeah i love these products um a big thing i'm going to take these off because i'm going to show you guys what they sent me and i'm going to actually wear them today because i do kind of want to switch it up a little bit like i said i've been wearing these since july but um some things that i really really like i'm going to keep this one um that i like about anna luisa is that they are very earth conscious so they are carbon neutral and their products are very quality products so they are very sustainable you don't have to worry about purchasing them them getting messed up and then buying a new one you know it's just that's annoying um so that's the biggest thing that i love about their products i also love the quality as far as the durability because i do have a toddler as you guys have seen and she likes to sit on my lap and kind of like not tug on them but she plays with them a lot and sometimes she gets a little rough haven't broken, haven't had any issues with the clasps getting loose or anything. So I really appreciate that. Um, also, they um, send their items in these cute little pouches. They're different depending on the product or what they have going on at the time as far as like, like what they're selling, I think, because my other necklaces from last year came in something totally different. But I like these because you can reuse them. Like I plan on using this for coins in my purse because I hate touching money and it, it just floats around at the bottom. It's so dirty, I can't stand it. So I'll be putting my coins in here and you might even be able to fit some credit cards in here I'm not really sure length or like you know height wise whatever I don't know but without further ado this is what I got from them I picked out the rocks small earrings um, so super simple and I am gonna wear these today because I haven't been wearing earrings lately because all of my earrings are either from like Amazon or Target and they either tarnish or they don't stay closed and then I've lost them so I'm excited about these and I like to layer my earrings so I'm gonna put these at the bottom I have two holes so I'm gonna put the bigger ones these are the bigger ones even though they say small I got the same earrings um, in the mini size so these are the rocks mini hopefully you guys can see this so i'm going to go ahead and put those in the top hole and guys if you are interested in any of this jewelry um now's the time to shop especially with valentine's day coming up they are doing up to 40 percent off that is a lot up to 40 percent off four zero not one four <laughs> um, so if you're interested in seeing what they have online right now um, and take advantage of that sale, be sure to check the description in uh, the link in my description uh, box below to get you some monies off, to get you something for Valentine's Day or to get someone else something for Valentine's Day. Um, I cannot get this in my ear. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> it's not the earrings, guys. It's me. Trust me. But um, yeah, these, I also love these type of earrings because they just clasp on. You don't have to have, you know, worry about the back of the earrings. Why am I having such a hard time putting these on? 
there okay so this is this is what they look like super lightweight i already can tell right now that i'm going to forget that these are even on and the third thing i got from them was this beautiful necklace i don't know if it's pronounced i think it's pronounced kari maybe carrie to me i would pronounce it kari but it's just this beautiful pendant necklace um, it's reversible so on this side you get black and if you flip it around you have gold so i am going to wear this on the black side i'm gonna try because i'll have to use my left hand i'm a right-handed girl so all right so this is what the necklace looks like it's on the black side, but like I said, again, it's reversible, so you could wear it on the gold side, so that's fun. So it just makes for even more versatility. And as you can see, I left on my other necklace from my Michelle set, and you can layer up your necklaces, you can mix and match their pieces. They're very interchangeable. So again, guys, if you are interested in anything you see, or you wanna check out what they have, they have some really cute stuff. Like I really wanna go back and get this um, heart necklace that they um had because one it's a heart and it's perfect for valentine's day obviously but it's also my birthstone they have a lot of cool jewelry pieces that are like uh gems so this is hopefully that show there we go um that necklace i need it so hopefully it is still there but with um like i said if you guys are interested in anything be sure to check out the link in my description below and get 40 percent off and let's go because i gotta start studying before my kids come in here and everything just changes and they're just loud and i can't do anything so i'll see you guys in the next clip <laughs> I've taken off my flannel but I am still going okay so um, right now I am getting ready to get into my first project on free code camp I just finished the responsive web design courses um, we learned about grids and flex boxes and HTML basics CSS basics a whole bunch of different things that um, attribute to learning you know the basics of a responsive web uh, web page 
So um, I am getting ready to do the first project, which is a tribute page. And I decided to do my tribute to Frida Kahlo. I love her. I love what she stood for. I just love like who she was as far as like what we know uh, from, you know, different resources. And I loved her art. I have one of her art books out there on my coffee table. Um, it just kind of goes through her life story through her art. And so that's super cool. Um, you get to see what each art piece meant in that stage of her life. So yeah, I'm gonna do my tribute page for her. Um, I don't use any like design tools. I do have a design, like a wireframing tool on my laptop. It's called draw.io. And so I need to get acclimated with that and really figure out how to use it. I've used it one time and that's when I did um, a tutorial on a um, COVID-19 tracker. I was really skeptical about saying that name one here because I don't know how YouTube algorithm does with that name, but I was using it to do that project and it was based, um, it was using JavaScript, I believe. Um, it was a little while ago and so I haven't used it since and so I want to get acclimated with that and then I also signed up for Figma because I know a lot of designers use Figma and I want to really learn how to do you know more about design so I think I'm going to find like some Skillshare courses that I can take around design specifically Figma and like wireframing because I do want to get more into that as I learn more about JavaScript and uh, C Sharp and other things that will require some type of design uh, along with it. So for now, <laughs> I just use my little notebook. And if you're interested, if you love stationery like I do, this is from Target. It's part of their um, uh, Black History Month line. Um, I went into Target and this was in the very front of the store in a whole section dedicated to Black History Month, which is awesome. And this is by a designer called, um, it's actually by a, designer called Kenzie Studio and I just realized that and I actually did a, an article on her when I had my stationery uh, blog. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that so just now that's awesome. So yeah, she's in Target now. That's that's so dope. <laughs> so um, yeah, in case you were wondering, I thought this was beautiful. So if you wanna get you one, go see if you have one at Target. But yeah, for now I'm going to kind of just sketch like hand draw different blocks and different squares and write in what each thing represents so that I have an idea of what I wanna do with the layout so that I can practice my CSS grids and Flexbox and media queries. So let me go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna give myself about an hour. It's 3.01 right now, so I'm gonna use the Pomodoro, I think that's how you say it, um, timer. So mine is set for 25 minutes of work, five minutes of break, but I'm gonna start and hopefully get something done between now and four o'clock. And then I will show you guys what I'm able to accomplish, if anything, within this next hour. Because after this, I need to be done. I need to get dinner for my kids. My kids are hungry, they miss me, they wanna play with me, so I gotta do this. But I will see you guys in the next clip and I will show you guys, um, I'll show you guys my code and I'll show you guys some type of progress. So I'll see you in a minute. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Okay guys, that is going to close out today's video. I am super excited to be done, honestly. <laughs> um, but I was able to finish the entire course portion of the responsive web design um, 
curriculum on free code camp and so i'm on the project part of that curriculum and so i was able to do the tribute page and i have four more projects to do to completely uh, clear that out and i get to move on to javascript algorithms and data structures so that's gonna be super fun i'm really excited about that i think <laughs> i will show you guys that process i'll be sure to include content on me with that process and that journey but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want to see more content where i actually show you guys some code show you guys what i'm actually working on um, because i think it's really important for you guys to know that you're not alone and that like because like for a lot of this stuff it's super simple but i don't use it every single day and if you don't use it you you lose it so it was really 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 good practice for me to set up a new HTML page for the first time in I don't know how long because most of the code that I work with on a daily basis is already written I'm just going in and editing it so um, yeah it was really fun doing this and it was really good to jog my you know brain and figure out what do I remember? What do I not? So that was super fun. Um, as you can see, the tribute page is super simple. I was just playing around with a little bit of CSS, um, changing the background color of the page. And um, I had to adjust the image size to make it responsive. That was part of the um, one of the tests on the project. Um, and so I might go back and make it really nice and just actually do a full actual tribute page. But for the purpose of today, I just wanted to show you guys an example of what you get out of free code camp. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. And also don't forget to check out the link in the description box. If you guys are interested in any of the jewelry you saw today or any of their other amazing pieces that they sell on Ana Luisa, um, remember you get up to 40% off for Valentine's Day. So definitely head over there and check that out. Um, I guess that's it. And until the next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.